All right, guys, so it's been about a week. I've been uh, in touch with Alice and Gabriella, the, the tenants here, and uh, we've done a lot of sanitization with just the holes that we've opened up, but it just hasn't been enough. The good thing is, though, is that they have not heard or seen any rats at all inside the home, which is a huge accomplishment. So it's definitely that vent pipe inside that wall. So in today's video, guys, we're gonna continue on with the sanitization. We're gonna have to step it up, though. We're gonna have to remove the vanity we're gonna to have to possibly take the toe kick out uh, open up the wall behind the kitchen and we're about to do that right now all right we've got the team here we're gonna start unloading get everything ready we're gonna install the twin trap uh, outside here at the back near that crawl space so we'll get that set up All right, I'm gonna go underneath that crawl space again and see if what we can do to cut underneath that tub and sanitize everything really well. And then I just talked to our framer. He says that he's able to go ahead and reconstruct everything underneath there. So we just wanna make sure that we don't cut any structural joists. But I'm gonna go under there to see how tight that crawl space is, what access we have, and if that's even accessible to do. So uh, let's get underneath that crawl space, guys. There's a bunch of rat traps right there. Uh, nothing's been activated, so that's a really good sign right there. Okay, so here's the uh, crawl space here. Pretty tight under here. Yeah, so you can see, you can see all the staining there from the urine soaking into that wood there. So we're gonna try to cut all that out and then uh, reinforce that and do the sanitization that way. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we're going to try to cut, there's some plywood there that I see in this, this uh, wood here. So we're going to cut all this out here and get underneath that tub and uh, sanitize all of this wood here as well. All right, we're getting all the floors uh, completely prepped with our containment. We've chopped out our, uh, our line for a straight cut. The owner decides she wants to try to keep this vanity. So we're going to go underneath. We're also going to cut underneath this uh, sink here and see what we can do to, to save this vanity and still do the proper job. Can you smell anything in there? Yeah. Wow. Bad rats. Bad, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So really bad. Yeah. So we know that there's probably a lot of nesting materials in there as well. So definitely a good good idea to open that up. All right. So this is a plastic plastic skirt here. So as we're cutting down below, we got to be very very careful not to cut it so what we're going to do is we're going to measure from the center of that drain and i'm going to tell him about this is as, as far as you can go right here so that puts us at uh, thompson okay so center of your drain i would even go six inches okay We love using the ram board just because it's uh, it's heavy duty and it's a spill guard too. So as we're removing contaminated materials, it doesn't make any contact whatsoever with the tile, hardwood floors, carpet. So we're a big fan of the uh, ram board. All right, let's go see how Brandon's doing here with the containment. He's got really nice, awesome. Brandon, getting ready to cut here pretty soon. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, so we've got our six mil poly plastic here. We'll cut it uh, to this countertop right here so we have access to that there. So he's got all that prep there. We've got our ram board. So a lot of the prep work is really, really important. We've got windows open as well so we can get some, some good airflow. And um, you can hear Thompson underneath there cutting to get ready for the, for the access. We're gonna, we're gonna cut this here in just a short bit. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, ferret camera. This thing is awesome. It's good for our plumbing leaks. It's good for rodent. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it inside this here just to kind of inspect. As you can see, I mean, it's a really clear picture. Look at all the, uh, the rat droppings and some of the nesting materials here. Yeah, right there. So this wall definitely has to be opened up here for sure. What's great about this camera, guys, is that it has a built-in Wi-Fi already. And the other thing is, is I could use any of these uh, push buttons here. I could use any of these to take documentations for my clients 
email them, text message them. I can take snapshots of all of my findings. So I highly encourage you if you're a pest control guy and, uh, and you really want to inspect in cameras, really good too is that the fish wire for electricians, those fish wires that, uh, that you can have that go 60, 70 feet. If you're in those tight crawl spaces or attics, this allows you to get way deep and figure out where you're not able to really get inside there to do a thorough inspection. So um, just want to share this with you guys. All right, we've got that exposed. Let's see if we can. Oh, it's full of rat Yeah, look at that. Look at that right there. Oh. Yeah, see the nesting materials there, guys? They were coming in through that hole right there and um, and then nesting in here. So we're going to go ahead and now open up this wall just to make sure they haven't gone through. It doesn't look like it. I see a little bit of electrical, but it really smells super, super bad here. I mean, that's, that's pretty bad. Yeah, look at... So they brought all that nesting material inside here. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and use our Twinzyme here, a great, great enzyme. Uh, again, we're gonna encapsulate all of this rodent feces and nesting materials, okay? Um, so you don't ever wanna have your pest control company, they're doing any cleaning or sanitization, you don't ever want them to extract that dry. You need to let them wet that and then extract it. You wanna use, the great thing about this is that you wanna use it in its full concentration. You don't have to mix it with any water. Water. And again, we want to wet the materials, the contamination. That's a lot of mixing right there, guys. That's years and years of, uh, of infestation right there. All right, guys, so we've got everything opened up right here. We've uh, treated, removed. Uh, the nesting materials there. We've got our ferret camera inside underneath the kitchen uh, cabinet here. And check this out. Look at how much uh, feces, uh, rat droppings. So they've been nesting underneath the kitchen sink as well, or the cabinet. So that's why that kitchen has had that odor. So we got to deal with this now. Yeah, this camera is absolutely awesome. So when it comes to sanitization, guys, it's really important to really open up materials. It's one thing to get the rats, figure that out. That's like the most critical. But uh, when you're dealing with odors, you've got to be able to make precise and strategic incisions in walls, ceilings, in order to get to the bottom of that odor. Otherwise, it's going to take a very, very long time and having the right products as well. All right, guys, so check this out. Went ahead and made an incision. Underneath, this is the lazy Susan that was uh, had some really bad odors, right? This whole cabinet area. I removed the toe kick and uh, used our the ferret. Look at that. Uh, let me see if I can just show you inside there. Look at how much nesting there is inside this underneath the uh, kitchen cabinet. Massive amounts. So what was happening was they were coming through the waste vent right there dropping down. You can see their, their brown marks. Utilizing the electrical here and then going underneath the tub and then what they were doing is they were migrating between the tub and this kitchen wall through that area back over here and then underneath the kitchen sink so they were nesting under the tub behind that wall and the kitchen so this is a huge benefit by opening up these uh these materials for sure and exposing all right so what we've done is uh made an incision here check this out underneath there's the uh skirt of the tub here so we found found all of that so all this will be cleaned up yeah they love nesting underneath tubs they especially underneath the skirts because it's a hallway they feel secure on both sides you can see here they've been chewing on the electrical wires this is why guys when you hear activity really important to get to the bottom of it otherwise a fire can uh, can get started that's pretty bad there we uh foamed that hole up right here pretty good this is a really good foam here it's called the uh, pure black absolutely love it specifically designed for rodents i also did the uh the underside of that as well and i foamed up the uh the pipe penetration through the crawl space too foamed that up really really good all right guys so we did a accomplished a lot today absolutely a game changer already with uh, with respect to the odor as a final cleaning though we're going to use our puro cleanse okay with our bucket put a little bit of water our bubbler this is an agitator so as we put water in there it agitates that water this right here off gases so it's really going to do a great job as a final step of cleaning um so we're going to leave that for uh, tonight we're going to come back 
back tomorrow, do sort of a monitoring and check to see how things are going. And then we're going to give one last treatment, but uh, we nailed this job. I'm super, super happy. And I know Ashley, the owner of this property and the tenants are going to be super pleased when they come back. So Ashley, big difference inside this house now? Huge. Huge. And, and are you happy that this nightmare is completely over with? I'm so happy. And I you, couldn't be more thrilled. <laughs> and you've been dealing with this for what, five, five years? years? Five years. Five years. So if you would have called us five years ago, we you wouldn't have had to go through all of this. No. No. <laughs> all right. Well, I wish for... I found you five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you choosing us and trusting us and uh I'm so happy that we accomplished everything for you. Thank you so much. Well, guys another great success on this house not only finding what the source was but also sanitizing and getting rid of the odors here so uh super super happy with the results hey hit the comments down below love to hear from you also hit that subscribe button and as always we'll see you on the next one